you do this. Stupid, stupid girl. finger is pointing at me, it wasn't me that did it. No, no. Yeah, people think that, that's for them to think, you know, mm. it doesn't make it true. Silly girl. Do you want to talk about it? Nah, I mean, it, it didn't help and not getting that part in uh, Midnight Oil and Let's please not <laughs> bring that up. No, I'm not blaming you. Uh, partly, I didn't. I know, I know. I did. Can we not bring this up? Okay, alright. Don't want to fight about it again. No. Okay, let's move on. Okay, yeah. Having a nice moment here. Yeah, yeah. Calm down, come on. I mean... I don't really want to talk about Sylvia, I mean... Okay, don't, don't have to. Okay. It's fine. I'm here for you, you know, if you want to. I yeah, appreciate that. I didn't expect that I'd, I'd be back here after uh, our first fling. <laughs> Me neither. No. But I'm glad I am. In a way. No, 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 that's it's like the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Um, oh, no, I'm, I'm glad too. Yeah, I'm just feeling a bit, how uh, can I put it, a bit sensitive at the moment, a bit down, so. No, I'm not feeling like this. You know what really makes me feel good? You do the same, my prince, if you know the way I do. When you were seen is a chamber of honours, the way I saw it. Heard the screams of his guests. As he called them, then you wouldn't be pointing that gun. Okay, Lionel. Um, I thought that was breathtaking. I thought that was really good. <clears throat> Very powerful, intense. It was. I, I think I'd like to see. Can, can you pick? Can, can we do it again? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, um, can you pick up the pace a bit? A bit uh, you know, like the pace needs to be a bit faster. Yeah. M more angry. Like, Not more angry. Wrong. Just uh, just pumping up the pace. You know, okay. uh, faster. Okay. Passionate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A bit more yeah. urgency. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Prince okay. is a guy who's who's gonna kill you. Okay. He's a bad boy. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I can move. Uh, yeah. And if you walk into it, that's good. Yeah. And in your own time. <coughs> Action. I've been like looking in a mirror recently. A cracked mirror. Well, I may come across as a villain of the piece, but I'm really not. I'm just misunderstood. Time will tell which side I'm really on. It may not be the right side, or even the wrong side. Maybe it'll be my side. I look after myself, protect myself and cover my ass. You'd do the same if you knew Prince the way I do. Well, and you've seen his chamber of horrors the way I saw it. You know, the screams of them guests and when he calls them and... Well, you just won't be pointing that gun at me, all right?
Hmm. Need to say more. Need to say more. What, what do you think about that, Lionel? Need you say more? No, I liked it. Do you like it? it? Cool. Yeah. Do you want to come to John's down here? Yeah, why not? Mm. So, if you go out with, um, if, you, if, if you go out with Lionel tonight, mm -hmm. have a coffee with him or a, a ticket for a nice meal, oh. uh, we'll, give you, we'll give you the part. How does that sound like? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll leave you to it anyway. I'm just going to go make a phone call and you can just get used to each other. I know this great little place. It's just around here. And So, this is where she killed herself. Makes me kind of moist right now thinking about it. How did you two meet? Was it straight from the audition to the hotel room like us? I should have become more than your latest fuck toy. Am I your fuck flavour the month right now, yeah? What was the name again? <laughs> Sabrina. Sabrina. Mm -hmm. mm. What do we think? Well, she looks the part. She's, um... yeah, on paper she certainly looks the part. On paper she certainly looks the part. Yeah. That makes no sense. Can she work with Ted? That's the question. I wouldn't have suggested her otherwise. You sure? You know what I Ted's sure. like. <laughs> I know what Ted's like, yes. I'm sure. Because it's quite a major role. It is, isn't it? But you like her. I do. Yeah, I'm just slightly concerned about Ted. Oh, don't be concerned about Ted. Well, it'd be good to know why the change of heart. I mean, you loved him first time round. And he's not going to audition again. But why doesn't he just come in for a screen test and meet the other actors? See how they work with each other. Director loves him. Yes. Well, you know I'm not going to take no for an answer. No. No, you know. Okay. Look. Let him come in next week. Look, he's, he's gonna get cast one way or another. I don't really care what you think. I mean. Well, he can convince you otherwise. Look, just calm down. See him work with the other actors. Director's on board. He's perfect for it, okay? I don't care, you know, what do you think about him personally?
fucking hell. <laughs> well, I thought I'd make it the, the phone call a bit more interesting, you know, so... Uh, should we go upstairs? Be rude not to? Yes. Come on. Oh. Yeah, um, this is a present for my brother. It's a Christmas present. From your brother? Yes. Sir. That makes me feel really sad <laughs> inside about my boyfriends and my, like... I have a nice brother. <laughs> I never get stuff like that. Wow, okay. What? <laughs> Sorry, it's very, very generous. My brother's a lovely person. Um, did you manage to have a look over? I did. Any questions? Um, okay, so I looked at this last night. Um, everything seems okay. Um, there was a question though that I had in regards to the percentage. Is it 10 or 15? It's 10. That's the news. No, no, it's very good. Mm -hmm. um, I know Oz is 15. Yes. But one thing I did notice, especially in Oz, you know, it's kind of limiting kind of roles and yeah, there's not a lot of work at the moment, that's why I came here to um, find some work. I exactly, think. and you yeah. come to the right place, and the role's in abundance, so right. hence yeah. the 10%, mm -hmm. you, yeah. you're going to get work. So. Yeah, so I was worried about my accent, I thought maybe it would be a handicap trying to find some work here. It's so funny you say that, so many actors say that, and it's, it's not at all. Anything you can do to stand out is mm -hmm. only a good thing. And, you know, you've got the looks, and you've got the talent, You've got this little extra, you know, this accent mm -hmm. is really gonna. Wow, I'm very really good. I'm excited, you know. This is... Wait, yeah. um, Mel, this is Marie. Uh, this is my business partner, Mel. Oh, Just nice to meet you. It's the signing process right now. Oh, well done, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and whereabouts in Mars are you from exactly? Sydney. Serious? Yes. Um, whereabouts is that actually? Um, Bondi Beach. You're actually from Bondi. Yeah. Oh my god. So I was living there for oh, like wow. four years. Wow. It's <laughs> amazing, so right? Except in winter, when it gets a bit windy and... Oh, I was bit... totally not prepared for that. Mm. I was like, this is colder than London. Yeah. And the tropical rain and things like exactly. that. Exactly. Like, it just pours down oh on you. <laughs> Which are, before I forget, um, actually, next week, mm -hmm. I'm going to need your email address because I've got to you an audition. Really? For, I don't know. Oh, so, um, okay. For this film, this feature film, it's called Foxy Lady. The exciting thing is it's big budget and it's a very well-known director. Oh, wow. Um, it's real supporting. So you're going to have, you're working with some big names, some famous names. Don't freak out. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just really, really happy. I'm it's a good like, thing. I'm, I'm like, am I hearing this? You are, <laughs> this you exciting. are. Um, so pop your email mm -hmm. down. And what I'll do is just email you through uh, all the details. I'm not sure what the letters yet, but I'll let you know. Um, but also what to wear, what to expect. You know who's going to be in the room with mm -hmm. you, who they are. Yeah, this is, um, um, wow, this is you're giving me like such an opportunity here. Of course, that's my it's, job. Um, um, and after I send it through, if you have any questions, if you're worried about anything, mm -hmm. don't be. But I am here for you. You know, I'm, I'm here to promote you and to get you work. Let me just tell you, I just think you have the most gorgeous eyes. It's, yeah, they're amazing. It's very sweet to Yeah, you. Thank you um, very much. Yeah, you just. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I think um, we need to celebrate. We really need to celebrate. And I want to take celebrate. you out. Yeah. I think, you know, a few drinks on the town. You're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah. yeah. That's so oh, sweet of you. Mmm. Silk. Where'd you get it? Ah. Uh, Got it a while, I'm sure. Probably a costume on the set or The reason why it gets silk so it's going to be nice and uh, You know that it's good to have silk pillows so it doesn't give you wrinkles on your face, did you know that? That's really good. The reason why I've, I've basically given you that is so I can take it off. <laughs> you see, um, not that I don't enjoy your naked body, but it's just over there. That's um, they filmed uh, some of Alfred, oh, you know, the original one. Yeah, I know what you mean. And that that old power station was in the backdrop. Oh, it's great. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. Yeah. It's such a good location. Like lots of boats. <laughs> you want me to do it for you? Just 
to know? What are you doing tonight? Nothing, actually. I'm going to go out for dinner. Maybe. Yeah? OK. Yeah. So I'll give you a call later. If you want to. Yeah. OK. okay. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know how it feels to you, but I think things have been going okay since I've uh, been hanging around with you. Great. Great. I'm spending far too much time at my place. Mm. Is that a problem or...? So what do you have in mind? Well, you're practically leaving me anyway. Well, I could, I could rent, rent my place out and maybe, maybe move in with you. Is that what you want? I, I always need someone in my life, and you've been there for me, so I, I guess yeah. It would be a bit risky and do it outside. How long does it take for them to get from intern to...? Three years. That's insane, isn't it, right? That's ridiculous. See, because I told my mum and she was like, oh, well, hard work gets you anywhere. And I was like, <laughs> what? No! Yeah, so... And shagging your way to the top, probably. Apparently not. But I do uh, uh, have a date with him on Tuesday. And he looks like Peter Crouch. He looks like Peter Crouch. Oh, mate. I know, but I ran no. into him. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into him and it was literally like I ran into him, like I ran into him at this height. And then it was like, oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Barney. <laughs> yeah, and then we were just chatting and it kind of, you know, he gave me his personal number and then he was like, oh, I don't answer this during office hours, so here's my work number. So I was a little bit like... Do you like him? So, imagine this. Okay. Imagine I'm, I'm the guy that's going to get you. But when I'm looking at you, right, you can't see me, I'm behind you. But I'm going to give you the fear with my eyes. And I'm going to see the fear in your eyes. Okay, so, if we can actually... Change the subject, mate. Change the subject. I'm feeling socially See awkward here. Do you did like that? that? Yeah, because I'm Yes, exactly. I'm fed up with talking about myself. Oh my gosh. It's good. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's just because, like, I was talking to Zoe, the other Laura, and Katie last week. And they were just kind of asking, they were like, you know, why is Laura with Ted? None of their business. I know, but it just like, it just got me thinking. I was like, you know, why are you with him? Because you guys are like total opposites of each other. And so? Yeah, but it just doesn't feel like it's a case, you know, of opposites attract. But how do you know that? From, from what you've said about him, like it just... Well, we're together and I'm attracted to him. Okay. I guess, I guess I just need to know, like, they have, they've put this nagging little thought in the back of my head, which is, you know, why are you with him? And, you know, that's just kind of been there in the back of my mind, you know, considering that 
his last girlfriend, you know, I know, committed. Yeah, I know. So. Okay, like, but can you can you like honestly tell me that you're happy with him? Well, just because she's done that, then you're worried that I'm gonna go psycho. Is that what you're saying? Oh no, but I just. <laughs> I just, okay, okay, so they've, they've got me thinking, and they put that thought there, and I just kind of, it got me thinking. I don't understand where you're going but with I, this. I, so don't, I, don't, I don't understand why you're, why you're together. Do you have to understand? Do you just know, I know, it's fun, having a good time. But it doesn't have to be anything serious right now. Like, it's... I don't know, I just, I just need to know, right, that, right now, that you're happy and you're fine with him. Yeah. Okay, so if you can score it mm. at the top, and then watch your thumb, no, your thumb's in the way, and score it all the way round. You've got to respect the avocado, so spin the avocado while you're doing it, but careful with your thumb. Way down. Not too much, scoring it, that's it, yeah, so just end penetrating it, <laughs> but not too deeply. Just enough so it penetrates, that's it. How's that? Yeah. And watch your thumb. Not perfect, but you did respect it. <laughs> okay, and then what you've got to do is take out the. Uh... Yeah, give me that. Okay. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We can either squeeze it out and it'll flip out, but this doesn't seem ripe enough, so. You have to score all the way around with a knife. Once again, watch your fingers. It's all about the respect. Mm, perfect. And then, we just flip it out. Like so. And then, such a delicious, uh, <laughs> <laughs> messy. Mm -hmm. mm. And my turn. That's pretty ripe. Mm. I think we should take this to the bedroom. What's wrong with it? Okay. Are you sure? What if someone sees us? Thought you were into that. <laughs> I don't quite like Mm-hmm. 
Hi. Hi. I'm David. Hi, David. I'm Laura. Nice to meet you, Laura. Have a seat. Oh, nice thank to you. Meet you too. My hands are quite cold. <laughs> um, what kind of you? Well, I want to be an actor. Awesome. Yes, yes, okay. that's, that's my thing. Place. I really want to be an actor, and that's why I came here. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can I see your CV? Um, I forgot it. That's okay. Can you tell me what you've been in? What your training is? Mm -hmm. Any background? Nothing. Nothing. You haven't been in anything. Mm -hmm. No theatre, film, anything. Oh, anything. oh yes, yes, yes. I have done something in high school. I had a role. I had a role, but I don't quite remember what was it. How long ago was that? Seven years ago. Seven years ago, and yeah. nothing since. Nothing. H have you tried to get work? Mm, no. No, but you want to be an actor. Yeah, and I want to get an agent. Okay, David, you need to you need to get try at least. I need to see you try and get, but, get work. I but I have a monologue. Really, I have a monologue. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm prepared. prepared. Do you want to see it? For me? Yeah. Um, maybe you should save it for drama school or, or something. No, 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 I really have a monologue. Look. David Jutz. I used to go there quite a bit. Years ago now. But I stopped. I used to like that place. Spent quite a bit of time in there. Before I went away. Just before. I think that place had a lot to do with it and they were all a good bit older than me but they always used to listen was that good was that fine was it That's excellent great, uh, was it great oh, david. oh please oh, david, david, david david was it excellent david, okay stand up stand up what please you? tell me yeah, let go my leg david stand oh, up please no david, david no. stand up no. Step. mel no. Step, step. No. mel Okay, okay. The thing is, I really want to be an actor and I need an agent. I need you. I need you and only you. Oh, please take me. Oh, please take me. Please take me. Oh. Yeah, so just put it over your neck. Yeah. Make the uh, small bit shorter, so okay. pull that one down like a bell. Okay. And then if you, yeah. you might want to, it's going to get all in your hair there. Yeah. 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 And then you toss that over, the yeah. big one. Yeah. And then keep always keep your hand on the small one. Yeah. So the, the, your right hand on the small one. Yeah. On this one. Yeah. Keep your hand on that all the time. Yeah. This hand all the time. Yeah. Your hand on. No, no. This end. This end. Keep your hand there. There. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. All right. And then you toss it over. Okay. And then you uh, put that through the gap where your neck is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got control when you're holding that one. You see. Yeah. Very controlling it. And then uh, you put it through the hole. That's it. Try and always keep your hand on that small one because that's when it gets messy. You down. Yeah. That's the one. Work it through. Pull it, yeah, and then you've got a nice Windsor knot, that's what it's called. Mm. It suits you, actually. Thank you. Mm. Do you want to try it? Yeah, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Just toss it. That's good. That's oh, fine, it's fine. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. It's good. Okay. <coughs> Foxy lady, team 14, take three. Action. I'm hungry. 
Which way? We've got to head south. Which way south? Wait a minute. What? Prince will be looking for us. And? Where's the last place Prince will be looking for us? Back at his place. Are you mad? We've got no evidence. It's our word against his. I'd like to get a look in his safe. How can we handcuff? By being clever. Yeah, I mean, I uh, can't complain. We've got all the shots that we need and actresses is doing really well, so no problem. And is everybody gelling well on set? Are you um, finding it? You're finding it fine, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone's quite lovely and yeah, it's, you know, we have like early call times, like 5 a.m. or so, so we might look a bit tired in the morning, so. but it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. And Sabrina, can you tell us a bit about uh, what it's like, the whole Ted experience, uh, being his leading lady in this particular film? Um, well, Ted is a very um, peculiar person. Uh, I think at first we probably didn't really get along that well, but now... And, I think and why was that, Meg? No, no well, it, it's just one of those things, you know, no need to ask, really. Next question, please. Sure. OK, and how has it been for you, Sabrina? Um, what's, what's your favourite part about the role? Is there anything you can give us in terms of an insight into your character? Well, um, Ted doesn't really uh, want me to spoil anything, so I can't really talk about it that much. But, um, yeah, I mean, she's, um, she's quite... Um, She's a very interesting character because she's quite multidimensional and uh, she's going through a hard time in the beginning but then it slowly uh, gets better and better and better so you'll see a sad side and then a happy side. Not too wild. <laughs> Just pretty wild. The Italian side. Mm. Yeah, all things are wild. I know what the Italians are like. Really? Hmm. They're not happy unless they're touching each other. <laughs> Very cheap. So, would you like to go for round two? This is nice. Is it your place? I thought you meant the massage. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice too. Is it? Um. I'll be honest. This isn't. This is a friend of mine. Um, she's an agent, and I'm just. Uh, so we're sneaking in. Yeah. Being naughty. Mm. Well, I'm not. <laughs> standard stuff. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. So yeah. just the standard ten percent mm. fee for me on anything you book, anything that I book you. Um, other than that. Okay. Same as your last place, I'm sure. So, so if I book anything myself, that's that's all you. I don't need to pay you anything. You're sure. Yep. I'm happy to okay. to share. Oh, that's very sweet of no? you. But no, don't worry. Okay. I'll be getting you the work anyway, so I'm not <laughs> worried about that. <laughs> okay. Um, yep. Awesome. So, sign on the last page. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Right there. Okay. Yeah, just your contact information. Absolutely. Um, Excellent. And I will sign here and I will get a copy over to you as well. Excellent. So you have it. And um, my card. Uh, Email, okay. mobile, feel free to contact me. Any questions, okay. anything you want to know. So this is your, your mobile phone, personal phone? Uh, I mean, I can reach you anytime it's my, here. It's my number. Yeah, you can okay. reach me in that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, you know how insecure we can be sometimes, actors, you know? 
Excellent. You'll be great. You've got a great look. Mm. You've got a great accent. Oh, thank you. You'll be fine. You too. Oh, mm. thank you very much. So, are you local to this area? Do you, you know this area very well? Or? Yeah, yeah, very well. Okay, okay. Because I just moved in and I'm still looking for the right places to go out and out and all yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's no shortage. Yeah. Yeah, oh. just have a wander around yeah. and you'll find those in lovely places. Are you, are you busy later? What time do you finish here? Uh, maybe oh, with a of beer or something. What do you think? Tonight? Yeah. It's a very lovely offer, Antonio. You're busy? I do have to work, yes. Are you busy? I am busy. I do have to work. Oh, well, well by what time do you finish? You must finish at some point. Okay. Let's keep it professional. No, oh, professional. Yeah, good. Busy, really. Don't know. We, we're getting there with the, the scripts. It's it's doing all right, so we should be fine. <clears throat> so what have I done now? I've seen that look before. Why did you say that? Well, normally when you think I've been. So sort of playing around, so you come in and give me that look, so I've been a good boy, so You're pregnant. Okay. Um, how long? How long since I've known you? How far are you gone? I I don't really see me as a uh, 2.4 children type of guy, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Just inconvenient, isn't it? I won't say it's inconvenient, I'd say it's I'm going to put it, I thought you were taking the pill. Well, you know, <clears throat> shit happens. So, did you accidentally on purpose not take the no, pill? No, I didn't accidentally on purpose, Ted. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Mm. You get into that age now, aren't you? You know, that sort of late 20s, early 30s. Are you shitting me? Mm. Want a babe in your life? bit of commitment, saw me as the father figure, try to calm me down, settle me down. We've been together for like two months. Mm -hmm. And you think that's what I want as well? But we've got history, haven't we? I remember the first time we were together, you talked about it. So, yeah, like a normal human being, we'll talk about having kids. Okay. So, let's put this into the equation. The first time we were together, you talked about maybe you and I, or maybe you having a child. It didn't work out between you and I the first time. Now we're back together, you fall pregnant. Bit of a coincidence that, isn't it? Okay, you can think what you like, but it kind of does not change the situation. 
Well, obviously not. So what is the point in talking about it? We need to know how we got to this. I think we know how we got to this stage. Don't patronise me. me kind of feeling you know romantic and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah actually it's yeah. true right well I think so I mean you haven't done many acting roles but um... I mean I'm, I'm starting out but I'm really you know I've been training a lot so I'm literally back in Spain where I live and, and in London and I'm really ready to you know take take something something important mm. and yeah I'm, I'm ready honestly I'm ready so if for instance, I said, I've got an hotel room, you come back tonight, spend the night with me, and then you've got a part in the film, how would that sound? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would be up for it, I think. Up for it? Okay, that's a that's not a Spanish way of saying things, is it? Um, <laughs> how would you say it in Spanish if you're going to say, speak to me in Spanish? Excite me. Mm. No. Jake, can I call you back? No. No, it's fine. No. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes, I am. No, no, you don't look so convinced. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't want no. Look, I don't want you to do something you don't want to do. I mean, I. It's not that I don't. I'm not happy. I'm just, you know, I just don't know you that well. But you look. You seem like a nice guy. So. So I, I want to do it, and I feel yeah, it, it's the right thing to do. Okay. Well, we won't hang around for a little uh, but. Uh, Thanks. You're cool. What do I do? Do it. No! She'll tell you everything you need to know! Those little skinny legs behind yours. Just Come tell on. Me, please. Oh, that's gonna hurt. This is one I made myself. This is pure soldering skin. Oh, crackle, crackle, crackle. Now, I'm not gonna even have this one in front of me. You're gonna come because you're the one with the information. Yep. Yeah. No, you can take that away from me. Ah!
really need some glasses. Okay, though, you look a bit flustered. No, please. All right, well, I'm here if you need me. Okay. I need something to see with here. Okay, and um, needless to say, Ted's not enthusiastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oof. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm fine. Fine. Right, okay. Mm. You're pregnant. Oh, I don't know. When you say it out loud, it's like ah. Okay, let's give it. Let's give it. Let's give it a name. Okay. So it's not a fetus. It's a alien. No, oh, because that's like a little bit creepy. What about banana? So it's a banana. So you're, 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 you're expecting a banana. Okay. So what are we gonna do about that? Eat it? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, 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 okay. Fine, let's call this something else. Let's call this Situation X, okay? So we're in Situation X. Right, yeah. And what are your thoughts on Situation X? Hmm. <laughs> It'd just be nice if he was, like, a little bit more... I know he'd never be happy about it, but... Not to fucking blame it on me. Um, it takes two people to make a situation. Yeah, exactly. 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 Do you think maybe like he was just a bit shocked, a bit caught off guard? I mean, like I'm assuming you guys are using protection yeah. and stuff, right? Like the first time, the first conversation we had, I expected it. I expected him to be. Nuts. Shocks and Shocks. stuff. Yeah. But then... He's not any better. Did you, did you ever have the kids conversation? You know, the... No. Really? No. Okay, so... We're in Situation X. And... Ted's not thrilled. But, okay, do you know, like, specifically how far along you are? The safe zone. The safe zone, okay. <laughs> so what, have you seen a doctor? Do you know options, or...? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Have you got them 
through. Kind of two more weeks. And let me guess, one is situation X becomes a person and the other one situation X goes kaput. <laughs> okay. So situation X becomes an actual person, right? And then I've got to deal with Ted. And Ted. The rest of, of my life. life. Yeah. Or probably not. He probably just run away. No, he'll probably, he'll probably just abandon off. me. I think we need to actually be honest, realistic about this. If you, if situation X becomes an actual person, Ted's going to be like, bye, see ya. Or situation X goes kaput. But then what happens? Are you still going to be with Ted? Has he actually put any input in if he wants, like, okay, so he's not thrilled, but, like, is there the possibility that actually that this situation X being a person is actually going to happen, but he's just, this isn't part of his current life plan? Or does he actually just want it to go kaput? That one. That one. Okay, so he wants it to go kaput, right? Have you told your mother? No. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Fucking hell. You never know. Like, okay, okay, what, so... Why, 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 she, what would she do? Well, I don't know. But the judge. A part, I don't, well, for starters, she'd probably yell at the, down the phone at you for about half an hour, then put the phone down on you, then give you the silent treatment, then call you back and apologise when she was out doing something by herself, so therefore was not seen doing something in public. And therefore wrong and then she probably might give you some actual useful advice <laughs> but it's a case of do you want to go I've got you so okay all oh, right okay all oh, right okay so, so right so how do you feel about being a single parent not thrilled not thrilled because you know like whatever you decide we're all gonna go along with it right yeah, and then, and then I've got my business, so how will I run that and raise a child at the same time? So, it sort of has it perks. You know, can you can you work from home? Not with a kid. Okay. So then, at the moment, you know, puts looking like a slightly... Yeah. 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 Just erase erase Ted from the equation, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, he's donated his sperm to this equation. <laughs> oh, let's face it. Come on, that's all he's done. He's donated his sperm to situation X, and that's it. Okay. So it's what do you want? out of this mm -hmm. what feels right to you run away okay no that's not an option i will pin you to this sofa i'll get some chains and tie it around the sofa and padlock you to it so you can't run away or i could just do what we did when like you know when we were joking around at uni and just grab one of your legs so you've just got to physically drag me down no mm -hmm. okay so Situation X becomes a natural person, situation X goes kaput, okay? So, you're gonna have to do... Okay, you want to talk about something else now? Okay, so, um, I went on my date... Yeah, so, we did did the date with, uh... Peter Crouch. Jack Skeleton, whatever you want to call him. And it was alright! But that was six weeks ago. And I haven't heard from him.
Yeah, oh, I know she's been in predominantly theatre, but she's a damn good actress, and you know, why... Does it matter if she has a big social media following? I don't think so. Look, it depends. Do you want quality? Well, that's great. So you're gonna sell a big budget feature full of shit actors? Well, fine, I'll send over someone else then. <laughs> so you want me to start asking all my actors how many friends on Facebook they have? How many followers do they have? Well then, you know, you need to go to another agency because I'm not in the habit of signing shit actors. Or people who look like Justin Bieber and can't act. Well, I want a second opinion. I know you're not the only person who makes these decisions, so, and I'm sure you're not gonna sign this off just on your own, a bit out of your league. Well, fine. Yep, you will be hearing from me. Sorry. Hi. Hi, I'm Laura. Lovely yeah. to meet you. I'm Grace. What's your name, sorry? Grace. Grace, excellent. Hi, I'm on the set of Foxy Lady with director Ted. How are you doing, Ted? I'm doing okay, yeah. So, what an intriguing set. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Uh, the film itself uh, has various elements. Uh, we're going for an abstract sort of film, but what we've got so far, I can't see any doubt that it's going to go on and win many, many awards, so very confident. Is this a insight into your new big movie? Um, well, I mean, I didn't invite you down here. It was Lionel, who, uh, the producer, who wants to uh, do a bit of PR on the film. I know, it's great. We've got an inside scoop on the set, sneak preview. So, Ted, could you tell us what Foxy Lady is about? Um, well, it's, it's quite abstract. It's, it's, it's a great script. We've got some still in actors. And there's no doubt in my mind it's going to win awards. So, what else do you need to know? Well, we're in for a right treats, ladies and gentlemen, a film that's going to win us awards. Now, Ted, there is a bit of a sensitive subject that, you know, I'd like to ask you about. We're all very aware of Sylvia passing away. Um, I'd rather not speak about that. Um, it's tragic what happens with Sylvia. Um, and all I can say is she wasn't in a good place. She took her own life and... Um, it's a big it's a big question. There are fans of Sylvia's out there that, you know, want to know or maybe you're holding you responsible. Mm, mm. And now's your chance, Ted, to give well, me your side of the I, story. I, I, I didn't invite you down here and I, I just don't want to talk about it, but you you carry on do your business, get your ratings, whatever you have to do. Well, uh, we've had our uninvited interview on the set of Foxy Lady. Very privileged to be here indeed. And that's everything from Director Ted. I'll see you next time. Uh, no. No, not right now. No, that's interesting you say that. However, I'm not in the right place to be discussing this. That's, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, I'm afraid I can't. I said I am not in the right place to be discussing this right now. I will talk to you later. All right?
Hello, this is Sylvia, and I will be auditioning for the role of dead person. It's really funny, you know, being a dead person. It's nothing, nothing feels, nothing happens. The only time I felt was in my dreams one time, two days ago. It's the only time I did sleep, I mean, I hardly sleep at all. I had this dream about, about spiders, and I mean, there's just, there's something about them. You... Humans, people, the world, they hate spiders. They hate them so much. People actually purposely kill spiders because they hate them that much. And in this dream, all I could think about and feel was how much me and these spiders are so similar. How everyone wants me dead, just like the spider. And if you look there, everything is all laid out for you, all the T's and C's, all that preamble. Any custom you get, 10% of the money will go to me. And is there anything else you'd like to ask at all? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, I was wondering, right, am I allowed to get work outside the agency? And in, in that case, are you going to take a percentage, percentage of that as well, or just when I work through the agency? Well, that's something that Laura will have to talk to you about. Um, uh, okay. Laura, if you could take over. Laura, Maida, Maida, Laura. So Hi, what's your name? Maida. Very nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Um, so this is my actual CV. If you turn it, there's my CV. I've done loads of work in short films. I, I've, I've done theatre as well. And I can speak Spanish and Italian as well as English. And of course I can do a Spanish, uh, Italian and French accent. So yeah, I'm, I'm a really hard worker. I mean, I'm really excited for this. So you're the one who's fucking Ted? Uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah. That's how you got these jobs, right? By no, no, sleeping with no, him, presumably. I slept with him, okay, but I, I mean, that's because I, I'm an actress, I mean... I <laughs> oh, so you're just a slut to get work? No, I got the, those jobs because I, I have talent, I mean, I deserve that. I, I think you, so you, did you get the jobs because you have talent or because you fucked Ted? Is it boys no. one is it? I'm really confused right now. That's okay. I slept with him, but I go got those jobs because I I mean I'm worth it. I mean Oh I, you're worth it. Is that what you think? I mean I almost feel sorry for you because there ain't no fucking way in hell you're gonna get a job through me. Or through Ted for that matter. But I can you just like take oh, yeah. my my showreel? Service. Ted, the warrant for your arrest. And what charge? For voyeurism. You don't have to say anything. 
But it may harm your defence if you do not question something which you may rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Come this way. Her on set and Dory wasn't one of your guys, caused me nothing but headache. Nothing was right for him. Proper prima donna. I mean, I don't understand how actors can come onto a film set, expect a red carpet to roll out for them, and then expect to get jobs after that film. I'm just going to fire his ass and get him back to me. <sighs> Could do with a whiskey or something. Want to grab me a drink or something? Hmm. Is that all that happened today? Ah, oh, well, just this and that, but nothing, nothing uh, other than the normal films day yeah. scenarios. Prison food, nice. Cryptic clue. Where are we going? With? Ah. Did you like what you saw? <laughs> Was it worth it? For the record, the police are unlikely to press charges. Surely the girl would be the one to press charges, right? Yes, but... Um, the girl that you were perving on. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually a couple, but that, that's by the by. Oh, even better. Um, to be honest, um, I spoke to my lawyer and he doesn't seem any, well he doesn't seem faced by it, he doesn't seem there's going to be any problems, it's just going to get brushed under the carpet and it's just one of those things isn't it, so don't worry about it. And you didn't think about us in this scenario? No. You mean when I was looking? When you were perving like the creepy old man that you are. <laughs> Being extremely unprofessional. <laughs> it's nothing. And committing an illegal act. It's nothing to do with uh, being unprofessional. Nothing to do it's with. It's got like... everything to be <laughs> unprofessional. You're direct on the film set. Mm -hmm. This didn't happen on the film set. Did it? I wasn't watching a couple fuck on a film set. I was watching them. Fuck you elsewhere. were working. Take that fucking stupid scarf off. Move you fucking sick. Saskia. We'll see about Saskia, won't we? 
I'm never ever going to tell Lionel what we did, but it's rude for us not to just do it once and not to do it over and over again. That's why. Oh, I, I'm not really a one night stand sort of guy to be it honest. It wasn't really a one night stand, we had fun. Ah, mm. oh, so you, uh, you admit you had fun? Yeah, it was fun. It was nothing. Police are not or anybody is going to press charges. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe fuck is the opposite word. What he told me the other day, um, I I don't see myself as the, the father type, so um, we've got a few options and um, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Hello, Laura. Lovely seeing you again. Do you remember me, Laura? Do you remember how you gave me fucking nothing? Do you remember how when I was at my bottom, <laughs> you left me there? You remember that, Laura? yourself, you pathetic fucking piece of shit. Yeah, he doesn't love you. <laughs> no one does. Look at you. I can't stop but think of how pathetic you are. Laura, I remember being in that bathroom. 
bathtub, taking that blade, slicing that vein, and feeling the blood drain from my body. It was the best feeling I've ever felt. You're going nowhere. You're finished. You deserve nothing. Enjoy. Turn around to your master. That's what he is now. And tell him what he needs to know. Come on. Just tell him. Come you're not safe. being. You're not being a pussy. You're not being a grass. You're just saving your life. I've got I'm nothing left. I'm being serious. You can kill me here if you want. I don't care. You want to die? Here. Right now. Is that what you want? Come on, you're a beautiful girl. Come on. Come on. Goodness sake. Think of your life. It was Blackie McCoy, that's all I can say. Something tells me. <clears throat> Something tells me that's not quite the truth. No, honestly, I believe her. That's the truth. Shut up. I believe her. Shut up. We're not interested in what you've got to say. I, I might be. Uh, it depends what you're offering. Uh, it depends what you need. Sex. Sex, of course. Two hours. Two hours? Mm, in my hotel room. It's, it's going to be pricey for two hours. What's your price? 500. 500 pounds for two hours? Per hour. A thousand pounds? Yes. Um. I, don't, I need. I want two hours of, of sex, so it, it, I'm not going to pay a thousand pounds. So I'll give you a couple hundred pounds, or I'll go to the next person. That's it's up to you. Two hundred pounds. No, oh, that's not enough. What about here and now? Well, that changes. Well, it's cheaper, obviously. We're not going to an hotel room. I can yeah. just. I just until I come, we can have sex, and then you can take. I'll take. I'll give you the money now. How much you want? I don't normally work here, but I didn't. I wasn't aware that it was so much hard work. Three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds. Let's do it now.
know, we've, we've spent an awful lot of money to make this film happen. The least thing you could do is learn your bloody lines. Okay. Okay. I, I wouldn't say that you're perfect for what I'm looking for. M'a făcut să mă simt foarte fericită. Da, da. French charisma, flair, mm. passion. Mm. Peste tot. Și să mă atingi. Do you like my hair today? I'm not really looking at your hair. So, where are you looking? I can't carry on because your hour's gone. Oh, and one other thing. 